Hello, and welcome to another Mario Party 4 minigame review. When people talk about classic Mario Party minigames, you hear a lot of the same names pop up. Bumper Balls, Mushroom Mix-Up, Tipsy Turny, but the one we're here to talk about today is another one you often hear about. It's the free-for-all minigame Book Squirm. If you compare it to the other classics of the series, it seems to check all the boxes. It's a simple concept that's easy to play and it's hectic in all the right ways. Everyone finds themselves inside the pages of a book, and each page has different shaped holes cut out of it. As the pages come down, you have to run to one of the holes so that you don't get smashed and whoever survives the longest will win. But does it deserve its status as a classic minigame or is it overhyped? Let's find out. This is definitely a classic minigame. I loved playing this one. I thought it had a really good amount of challenge and strategy, but was still really enjoyable. Yeah, me too. This is one of the best examples of everything good about Mario Party. It's a good one that anyone can pick up and be immediately good at, but it also offers enough challenge to keep it interesting to more seasoned players. Yeah, I definitely found this one more challenging than you did. I had a little bit of a hard time figuring out how to line myself up best, especially on the moon shapes. For some reason, I always was standing in the wrong spot, but that didn't stop it from being fun. Yeah, I did find that you had a little bit of trouble if you weren't in the widest part of the crescent moons, but I don't think it hinders the game too much, it's more just something you have to remember. Yeah, once I realized that was a little challenging for me, I made it a point to stand in the circles, which then made it more fun to try and find those first. Definitely. One thing I wonder is if it would be fun to have some sort of like punch maneuver that you could do to other players. It'd be cool to punch somebody out of your shape at the last second and cause them to be flattened, but that might be overcomplicating it. Yeah, I don't know if this minigame even needs that. I mean, there were times where a lot of players were sitting under the same shape, so it did make it a little challenging to make sure you were underneath it so you would be safe. But then again, if you could push someone out of the way, maybe that would make it more fun. Yeah, other than that, there's not a whole lot of bad stuff to say about this one. We had a great time with this one all around, and it's one that we just wanted to keep playing even when we were done filming our footage. And overall, I feel like no matter what kind of minigames you like most in Mario Party, this is going to be towards the top of your list. It's your classic example of a great Mario Party minigame where it's simple to play and leads to a lot of fun times with the people around you. It gets super tense, and every time you die, it just makes you sad. Not because you lost out on the chance to win some coins, but because you don't get to play anymore. That's exactly what you want out of a Mario Party minigame. So I don't think there's any way we can give this any less than 5 out of 5 stars. Woohoo! Yeah, this is definitely a 5 star minigame. Well, that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Bowser Bop. Well, let's bop to it! If you want to bop with us too, join us for our next video. Hope, Hope to see, see you then! then.